up guys, my name is Jade. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, hey, what's up? Today on this channel, we're talking about productivity. I feel like being on social media equals being consistent with posting, being diligent. Now, how do you become diligent without breaking the bank? There's a lot of journals and trust me, I've used them all, literally. This is one of them that I'm really confident about. It's my sticky note system. It doesn't look that fun. Every single video, it's kind of in the background and people wanna know what it is, how I use sticky notes to schedule my life. I really can't breathe. So that's what we're getting into today and it's one of my prized possessions. I've been literally using it since I was five years old. So it has my parents. This is kind of like the secret sauce. So I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for everyone who's been requesting this video like crazy. This is how to be productive with sticky notes. I feel like the hardest thing to do isn't to execute or have our ideas. I feel like we're all super creative people as, you know, Instagrammers or YouTubers. The hardest thing is to get started. Getting those ideas on paper and executing is a whole different story than thinking about it. I feel like we spend so much time thinking and contemplating. And comment below if you can relate, but we always think about the best ideas, but we get stuck with actually the steps to do it. Or maybe you have the reverse problem where you don't know how to organize it because you have way too many ideas and you feel super confident but you don't know where to go. This problem is really interesting to me. I'm going to basically walk you through how I get productive. I have my lap. Oh shit! Alright, we got the new model Tesla X truck 2018 Ford. Oh. Oh, this is not a commercial. Sorry, I got caught up in the song. All right, guys, all you need for today's video is some sticky notes, different sizes and colors, and a pen. Okay, guys, so this is the basic overview. We got the sticky notes, and all you really do, that a basic idea before I dive into more detail, is you have the sticky notes idea. As you stick them on, you take them off when you're done, and I have a two month spread on your window. So when you look up, you have your goals right above you. Now, and listen, I know this is nothing too fancy. Okay, I don't know why people were asking like it was some sorcery. It's really not, but what I really do, I will kind of walk you through the process. This is not supposed to be fancy. This actually costs you $5 to complete this entire thing. All my supplies are from like Amazon or something. So it's super cheap. Guys, basically, let me tell you a story. So I literally have not one, not two, three different journals. I have to explain why I use journals and sticky notes. I feel like it's important also why I use an iPhone kind of planner as well. So let me go into <laughs> When you're creating ideas for video ideas, let's just talk about YouTube and Instagram. When you're thinking about content, when you work on a digital platform, maybe like you use a calendar app, I feel like when you have the digital place, when you create ideas, it stops your ideas and creativity from flowing. What I mean is when we have stuff and when you're typing, it kind of gives us more incentive to also hit the backspace. When you hit the delete key, you tend to also delete other ideas that flow. So when you use traditional, you know, pencil and paper, the good old friends, I feel like your ideas are so much more creative. It's bigger. Your dreams are better. My biggest tip ever, it was weird enough, is a lot of people, they don't give themselves enough room to dream. You can't dream on your Apple notes. And I don't know about you, but I really can't dream when I have like this like nice ass journal sh I don't really have the luxury to use, you know, dirt and a stick, but I do use sticky notes on my wall and I don't want to get in trouble from the rent, so I have to put a piece of paper, but you can typically even just write on the walls. I would be as primary and barbaic as possible. Is barbaic a word? I mean is I use a computer to kind of execute my ideas. I use paper and sticky notes and pencil to generate ideas, to brainstorm. This is the secret sauce to everything I do. Well, we're going to dive right into the sticky notes if you want to see the process. Yeah, I guess you could keep watching. I don't know why you're here other than that. Yeah, that's basically it. I really don't know why people wanted to see this video. You want to see what's not basic? Look at my dad's room. Dad, there's so many sticky notes. Tell me why. Oh boy. Is this going to be on a, on a video? It's recording. Oh my god! Oh, tell me why there's so many sticky notes and how do you really do it? I don't think I'm doing it right. So the way I do it, this is kind of my week. What I do this week. This is kind of my journey. Show me how many big items I have. So this is kind of tell me, this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. If, if I, I'm behind schedule, I can move it up. That's what I like about sticky notes. This is all developers that are working for me. So I manage their, their cycle. This is more like sales related so okay. it's kind of set up all those things if i hit the target or not the project management product management this is more like a business side 
What the hell? What's the difference? Our internal project. This is running client. Client relationship, your own personal. What's this? Get too close. This is my customer project. What is all this in the middle? This is a, a we call war room. So it's easier for me to step back and look at um, idea. So the, the goal, this is coming from a book called How to Steal Like an Artist. Definitely a book to read. Oh, so what, this is what I call the analog lab. <laughs> this is when, when things are really dirty. There is a concept called to create a lotus, you need a mud. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty. Don't post it on the internet. Okay, bye. So yeah, guys, I completely fucked up my post-it wall. This is not supposed to done this way. I feel like I'm doing it the super barbaic way. But hey, I feel like I'm... <laughs> I should honestly just subscribe to my dad. He's a real entrepreneur. I'm gonna go revise my skin. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, it's not supposed to look like that at all. Okay, so I'm gonna revise my entire video, come back and show you the finished product and I will even share some of my secret goals. You don't wanna miss a beat. Are you ready? Da -da -da -da! Okay, so this is what it looks like now. It's a lot more full. Basically, this is for April, that's May. So the idea is you have these smaller ones which are video ideas, or in this case, posts. So each thing is a YouTube video. So my favorite part about this entire thing is if you don't complete it, as long as you started it, you can always move it to the May calendar. So that's the best part. So what I did is on the top, I have the video structured category. For example, these are how to's I wanna make. Sorry, I burped. So if you guys can see the top part is like the header and then these are the actual videos for each day I wrote down. Now in the middle is all the ideas that I didn't get to put down, but they're again, this is part of the brainstorming. You're able to move it around, which is the best part. The fact that you can literally physically move your goals from one place to a better, better time is the best part. Then for the bigger long-term stuff, I have a couple sales. To be very honest, I'm gonna show you kind of my insight onto my income. So this is for April and I think I wrote down 1.5K. $500 and 1k in total for like coaching call and I even wrote down my favorite reminder lately must be willing to fail There's no point to protect your chances and to be scared. You just got to start if you look stupid and you fail So what that's the life you chose you didn't choose a job you chose entrepreneurship Don't get that shit mixed up. Okay. I'm really proud of this now So that's my sticky note video each small little sticky note represents a smaller idea or video and each larger pieces of Notepad is like the checklist to get there. It's like the outcome. It's like a bigger goal setting, kind of like income, sales, maybe your own self growth and mindset. And then once you're done, then you can put it onto your Apple Notes. So I put everything onto Apple Notes so I can kind of keep it on the go. That's like the only thing when I'm traveling, I love to keep it back on my computer. Because writing it on pen and paper gives you more leeway to brainstorm, but putting it on the computer helps you to execute and act, complete those things. So that's my schedule. And if you want to see a part two where I make a video about how to journal, comment down below. For now, thank you so much for watching this video. Please go ahead, like this video and subscribe if you semi enjoy my content and hit the notification bell if you really like my content so you can know when I upload because YouTube's being stupid. If you don't hit the bell, then you really Really can't see my videos, so that will suck. Um, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below your thoughts. What do you think about my technique? It's not really special, but it's definitely different than most people who have like cute little planners and shit. Like I'm like everywhere. Like it's so messy. I don't know why you guys want to see this video. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I will link some links below if you want to get in touch with me personally. But for now, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Your support is everything. Have a nice day, everybody.